If you want to unlock a canteen upgrade that will allow you to carry more drinks around, or are looking to complete the Grave Robbery Burgle quest, then you'll need to travel down into the bottom chamber of the Westerly Ant Hill, but make sure you bring a torch or a lantern, and if you don't want to have to fight off dozens of ants, I highly recommend you wear a full set of ant armor. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming bringing you another grounded tutorial teaching you where to go and what to do if you're looking for the Grave Robbery Burgle Chip that will teach you the recipe for the Canteen Upgrade. The Canteen Plus will allow you to carry around 4 drinks of water as opposed to the 2 drinks offered by the regular Canteen. But before moving on with the video, if you're a fan of grounded related grounded themed content then you have come to the right channel because that's just about all that I do here so if you enjoy that you could do me a huge favor by gently touching the like button and I hope that this video earns your subscription today. Before traveling to the Westerly Ant Hill to obtain the Burgle Chip, I first highly recommend that you craft a full set of ant armor and a slime mold lantern which can be unlocked by analyzing eelgrass. In order to craft the ant armor, you will need mite fuzz and ant parts, so if you need to, go bash a few bugs. Once you have acquired the parts, you can return to your workbench, and using one ant head, three ant parts, and five mite fuzz, you can craft the ant helmet. With five ant parts, two acid glands, and two mite fuzz, you can craft the ant arm guards, and using 6 ant parts, 2 crude rope, and 4 mite fuzz, you will be able to craft the ant knee guards. The full set of ant armor will not only increase your hauling strength and allow you to carry more grass planks or weed stems on your shoulder, it will also allow you to travel amongst the soldier ants without being attacked. Also, don't forget to craft a torch or a lantern. I recommend the slime lantern which you can craft using 4 slime mold stalks, 4 eelgrass strands, and 4 lily pad wax because it lasts longer than any other early game torch or lantern. Once you're ready, it's time to head to the Westerly Ant Hill and locate the Grave Robbery Burgle Chip. The easiest way to find the Ant Hill is to travel west from the Mysterious Machine and past the first field station until the grass becomes all dry. Upon locating the ant hill, equip your ant armor and lantern and travel straight down into the ant hill and follow the tunnel. At the first branch off point, continue going straight until you emerge into a larger cavern. From here, turn left and you will find a fuzzy cave. Travel through it. You will know you are in the right cave tunnel when you find an orb of raw science. The fuzzy cave will open into another chamber and on the floor in the center of this chamber you will find a hole that you can drop down into. After dropping down into another room a quick scan around will reveal a burgle chip on the floor of the chamber near the back. Pick it up and then make your way out of the anthill by following the tunnels which are leading upwards as opposed to down. Don't worry about getting stuck because all of the tunnels in the ant hill are interconnected and as long as you're wearing your ant armor and don't attack any of the ants, feel free to explore for yourself. You never know what sorts of goodies you might find. When you return to the surface, make your way back to Oak Lab and deliver the newly acquired ant hill burgle chip to burgle. Among the new recipes that will be unlocked with this burgle chip will be the canteen upgrade which you can purchase for 2500 raw science. Using 3 grub hide and 2 crude rope you will be able to craft the canteen plus which can hold twice as many drinks as the regular canteen and means you will be able to explore even more around the backyard without having to worry where to find water. One final thing to mention is that the Ant Hill Burgle Chip 
We'll also unlock fiber bandage efficiency in the swap shop, which you can purchase for 2,000 raw science. With this upgrade, the cost for crafting a fiber bandage will now only cost you one plant fiber and one sap, which is significantly more efficient than before. If you enjoyed the video, you could do me a huge favor by gently touching the like button. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you want to see more exciting grounded themed, grounded related content, then I hope that this video earned your subscription today. And if you ever want to come kick it in the backyard with me and the rest of the hashtag tiny crew, then I invite you to follow me on twitch.tv where I live stream grounded and other games. And if you want to keep up with channel news and all things tiny pirate gaming, you can follow me on Twitter or join the community discord. Links to all of those can be found down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Arg matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.